The Hawksby Show is back on for 2023, opening with a beautiful sunny day today to kickstart the weekend. Join us here at Hills to Hawksby Community News for just a small taste of what you're going to be able to get up to this weekend. first step of the day was catching up with Lynn Hudson, the president of the Hawkesbury District Agricultural Association, who hosts the Hawkesbury Show every year. We had a chat with Lynn about the fun stuff that people could find to do at the show, as well as what this particular event means to her. Lynn, how are you today? I'm really well, thanks, Josh. And you look well today to be out here on this lovely sunny day at the Hawkesbury Show. It is a lovely day. So can you tell us a bit about what's going on at the show uh, this year? Right. This is being our 136th annual show, which is a good achievement for a show in New South Wales. I'm the current president, also the first lady president of the show society, my husband being a previous uh, president. So we've sort of made a bit of history here. It's our hometown. We do all our bit for the community, for the rest of the community to come to the show to look at. Now, when you come to the show, make sure you go through all the buildings because you're going to see everything, art, craft, Wonderful cooks in this area, uh, all behind glass, unfortunately. Look at the flowers, look at the things they've made, look at the kids' work they've done, the photography, the bees, the fruit and veggie, the eggs, the vegetable. Um, but you know what? All entries are up this year. Last year we had to contend with COVID, floods, bushfires, whatever this year. So far, nothing. But do go through everything here. It's beautiful. There are a lot of free things to do for kids. We have this uh, program, so make sure you pick up your program. It has a map inside so you don't get lost. And on the back has 50 things to see. Now the furthest one away would be at the top of Show Alley, where all the rides are, the Antique Machinery Club. Some really pretty nifty stuff in there. Right down to our goats, sheep and alpaca pavilion and in between lots of things to look at for the whole family not just the little kids right to mum and dad and the grandparents so welcome to those who come to our 136 show let me tell you the grand parade will be on saturday at one o'clock that's where you get to see the best of the winners out there they're lovely and though i can't take them all home <laughs> i'm not allowed to anymore From the Poultry Pavilion to hundreds of entries into art competitions, there's certainly no shortage of sites to see at the show this year. For a bit of advice, we swung by the tent of Federal Member for Macquarie, Susan Templeman, to ask what she was planning for both the day and the weekend. Susan, how are you today? Oh, I'm loving this weather on the first day of the show. We couldn't ask for anything better and I think the crowds are loving it too. Yeah, it's nice and warm today. It is quite warm. Yeah. Uh, look, I think we know that we could be in for some tricky weather over the next few days. So people are clearly out picnicking, um, really enjoying the sun. I've seen people in the stands watching the events. Uh, we, we all needed this. What are you looking forward to about the rest of the weekend? Uh, the show is a really key thing. I mean, you can hear from the sounds over there. There's lots of public announcements coming out, but I'm on my way to the Hawkesbury Harvest uh, Pavilion, where all the local produce will be. That is one of my favourite things here. And along the way, you can pop in and see the council and peppercorn and the other services. Um, One of the things I love is having a stand here and it means that as people head towards the rides, towards the Ferris wheel, they walk past me and they stop and have a chat. And that's why we're here really, just to have good conversations with people who we might otherwise not get a chance to catch up with. Wonderful. And is there any significance to this year's Hawkesbury show for you, given the last couple of years? Uh, I think there is a great sense of relief that there's a little bit of normality and that we can be out, we can be out in the fresh air, not worrying about masks. Very conscious though that COVID is still around, so I know there are vulnerable people who will still be taking precautions. Uh, But hopefully people who are here are are just ready to get out and feel a bit human again. And hopefully lots of people will come to the show this weekend. A little bit of bad weather does not affect the great experience that you can have here. So I'd encourage people to come out. It's the biggest show outside the Royal Sydney Easter show, but so much easier to get around. So come and check it out. And that's just a little bit of advice to help you this weekend at the Hawkesbury Show. 
Make sure to catch the 1 p.m. parade and nighttime fireworks on Saturday if you can. Well, that does it for our coverage of the Hawkesbury Show this year. Have fun this weekend, and if the weather forecast is to be believed, stay dry as well. I'm Josh, signing off.